<laughs> you know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one-and-done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs, and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now! Well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you, and I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract, and you know, I, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So, you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. Nigga, about time, and by the way, that was two 10-day contracts. Heck yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thanks, you're not gonna regret this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this organization so proud. Good, good, listen, you got this opportunity because uh, you've been working your tail off out there. You know, you keep doing what you're doing, and uh, you know, there's no limit to, to what you can achieve. Uh, you got it? Yes, sir, I do. Get out of here. Thanks again. Get out of here. Damn, what was up with that, bro? He didn't even want to shake my hand like, oh, I don't have no hand sanitizer. And when I touched him, he looked at his clothes like, oh, I got to take it to the dry cleaners. What's up with got them? Got When? Today. That's the league, man. We cogs in the machine. A bad. It's not my fault. I'm a better point guard. Sorry, Felton. See you later. By the way, did anybody notice Jason Richardson? Let me find out that Felton went to the Sixers. <laughs> it's a business. I'm new. And even I know that. Hey, maybe the change of scenery are doing some good. It'll be alright. Oh my, the cutscenes just don't stop. Good God. I'm sure you've all heard we're gonna have some new faces around here. We all know that change is part of the business. Your job is to make the new guys comfortable so that the transition on and off the court is seamless. We rise and fall as one. So, do these new guys talk or are their mouths gonna be closed as well? Oh, glad you're here. We're a tight group, so watch and learn. And when you feel comfortable, do your thing. Hey, as long as I'm in the field with me doing my thing. I'm just playing, man. Yo, y'all see that little smirk, though? I'm not playing, though. Don't interfere with what I'm doing over here, bruh. Welcome to the film room, everybody. Coach wanted me to give you all a little breakdown on some of the key points of emphasis strategies we'll be using moving forward. As you know, the entire staff feels it's important to review the basics from time to time, giving everyone a better understanding of what coach is expecting when you're out on the floor. It's going to help the team win more games. Simple as that. Now let's get to it, gentlemen. Yeah, let's get to it. Getting to the basket and playing physical on defense. So here we go. Now, there are times when Coach is going to want us to really focus on getting to the basket. We have some talented players on this team who are capable of getting to the rim just about any time because of their ball handling, speed, and ability to finish inside. When we run into a team that has weak perimeter defenders or is not very good at defending the rim, Coach is going to want us to go strong to the hoop whenever possible. Now, let's take a look at some game film showing how we can try and get to the rim for some easy baskets. So basically, Coach talking about your boy over here. Here we've got a nice dribble drive play. The ball handler takes his defender off the dribble and gets all the way to the basket for an easy bucket. When we go up against a team with poor on-ball defenders or a team that's not good at protecting the rim, we need to be able to take advantage. And on this next play, look how the ball handler sees a lane open up to the basket and quickly attacks before the defense can react. Easy score. If you've got a lane, attack. No hesitation. Keep these examples in mind when coach says he wants us to focus on getting to the basket. 
Okay, up next, playing physical. We got some very physical players who like to use their bodies against weaker, smaller teams. We should be looking to take advantage of those size and strength mismatches by wearing out our opponents over the course of the game. Now let's look at some films so you guys can see what playing physical on the defensive end looks like in action. Here we go. See the defender pressing up on the ball handler? He's not giving him any room to move. You need to be up tight on the ball. Make sure you put a body on them to slow them down. The more physical we play, the better our chances of winning become. On this next play, the defender is down low, bumping his man out of the paint and further from the basket. That's what we need to do when coach asks us to play physical. When they're on offense, we need to lean on them all the time and just keep wearing them down. That shouldn't be hard to do. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. You got it, coach. <laughs> Why was I the only one that said, got it, coach? Like, was I the only person in this meeting? Really? Oh, man, it feels good to be a starter for the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, a lot of people thought that I wasn't going to make it. I told you guys, you know, it was either the New York Knicks or the Dallas Mavericks since they were the top two teams that you guys picked for me. But I got a little gift for you guys. I got a new badge. This one is cool and collected, which means, you know, I have the ability to not go straight up cold. You know, I'm cool, calm, and I get things done on the fly. But I definitely want to show you guys a little bit of my schedule, a little bit of my upgrade. So I'm going to turn this little bad boy into like a mini attribute update, seeing as though I got a little bit of VC that I'm willing to spend on my guy. Uh, also, uh, I know a lot of people want me to hurry up and get my headband. I'm going to get the headband. Trust me, guys. The headband is coming. Just believe in me that I've got to get the VC to grab. All right. Let's hop into this joint. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you will notice is that I'm still a 69 overall. I'm slowly getting there, but I wanted to show you guys my schedule. I'm going to be getting a lot of VC for all of these games. Now, what you need to do is when you get this VC, you need to put it on a certain difficulty gameplay style and either either double 1.5, 1.25, depending on what you play on. Uh, Pro, I think, is like you'll only get the certain VC on which you played for, but I would probably stress to play Superstar Simulation. Hall of Fame, it just gets out of hand sometimes. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Hall of Fame is, ugh, it's stressful. Real stressful. But I'm showing you guys Rookies of the Month. We are in February, so hopefully I will win that award. Um, as for award races as in Rookie of the Year, I'm not even in the standing yet. You know, I only played in the NBA for 20 days. That said, I had two 10-day contracts, and now it's time for me to get right. Now, you guys saw that I tried to get on the My Player Store, and it didn't work. Server trouble is still a little issue, so you know we're going to go in and spend about 4,000 VC on getting my guy ready. Now, as it goes for rebounding, I really don't need it. I got four rebounds that last game, and you know I don't have any rebound attributes, so you know I'm just going to be upgrading everything periodically. What I'm going to try to do is get everything that I want to work on to level 10, and that will be 50 upgrades. Now, I've seen that, you know, you can get up to 100 upgrades, which means I'll probably have to start choosing things, you know, do I want to be a jump shooter, do I want to be an athlete, do I want to be a playmaker, defender? Most likely, I'll probably put jump shooter up, uh, playmaker up, athlete up, and probably... I would have to say defender as for inside scorer that's only like layups and standing layups and post work i think i can get the inside scorer to about level 10 and i think that's it but uh this is our kc signing out I'm doing a little bit of upgrades i ain't got that much vc left but i'm gonna holler at you guys in the next video make sure you leave a like leave a comment and i love ya peace y'all yeah.